All right, I'm going to pick off, pick up where I left off. Uh, basically, what we're doing here is uh, we have our first component, I. We have our second, J, K. Okay, and then basically the contributing factors of both vectors M and N. What we're trying to do is solve for PX, PY, and PZ. This first technique, I don't really care for, but um, it's really popular because I believe it's really popular because a lot of computers use this technique, and it's just because it's so similar to indexing, which is so common in uh, in computers. Excuse me, I'm just finishing this up. Okay, so now we know that those are the three. Uh, we have three columns. Those are our first three columns, correct? Now, what I want you to do for this technique is I actually want you to copy this column, the first two columns, over again, past K. So just repeat them. I know you're thinking, okay, this is already too long to do on a test or something. But don't worry, you'll be able to do a lot of this in your head eventually. Okay, so now what I want you to do, and this theory kind of states, um, essentially add along the dotted line and subtract along the solid. Okay, that's how I'm gonna that's how I'm gonna lay it out. Okay, so I'm gonna say summation of products. So I should say summation of products. Um, products. of dotted line, okay? Minus the summation of products of solid line, right? I know you're like, okay, where's the bloody line? Here we are. Ready? Here's our dotted. Here's another one. And here's another one, okay? everything that those go through. Now, let's switch back. All the solid lines. Through there. Through there. And through there. Subtract the, uh, the solid lines. Now let me do it for you so that we don't get confused and say, okay, well, you know, your technique's bogus, because I didn't get the right answer. Uh, it's not bogus. It was invented way, way, way back when. A long time ago. Alright. Let me just start us off. I'm going to start adding all of the uh, dotted lines first, because that's how I like to do it. So, um, NX and MY. So, here, let me just actually write it out. N, NX, K hat. That's the first one, right? That's this one right here, that little star here. That's this one. And just keep going, just keep going. Now don't get all fancy and try and take some shortcuts and consolidate things because you're going to lose your thought process and you're going to get docked on it. And I'm going to laugh. MX K hat Okay, now, I want you to subtract the summation of all of the solid lines now, right? So, I, I, I'm just going to do it the same fashion, just, you know, the other lines. So, NZ, I hat, plus MZ, NX, J hat. And I'm going to say plus over here, but just follow me down here. Dot, 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 okay. MZ, NX, then we have MX, NY, K hat. Okay? Good. So, I feel, personally, that if you look at that mess, uh, I feel like 
It's a little messy, very dry, um, very easy to make a mistake, and I don't really recommend it. Um, but if you forget uh, the other technique, then it's always good. You can always come back to this one as a double check, I suppose. Or if you go into programming later on in your life, there you go. You have something that is pretty easy for the computer to handle. But uh, anyway, let me shift on on to the uh, the next topic. You know what? Here, I'm going to kind of go on a side pro uh, side topic here. Let's explore the other technique because I think it's really useful. So um, I'm going to say technique two. I'm uh, coming next, okay? Going out of my way a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so let's go to the next video and then I can show you that technique.